In this video, you will learn how to make a lactobacillus serum. It's an organic milk-based fertilizer that you can make using inexpensive ingredients that are widely available. This fertilizer is known as Lab Serum. Many people call it Labu Serumu. It is one of the most powerful microbial fertilizers you can make. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to make Lab Serum a milk fertilizer rich in lactobacillus. Today we're going to make 10 liters of this serum. A farmer with one acre, which is just under half a hectare, needs one liter of the serum per season. The whole process takes 11 days to make. The four steps are simple. The 11 days are needed for the fermentation which allows the microbes to multiply. The only equipment you will need is a 20 litre plastic bucket, a stick for mixing, a piece of net to cover the bucket and a rubber band or piece of string to tie the net onto the bucket. The ingredients are half a kg of the cheapest rice you can find, two liters of water, 10 liters of milk, which you'll only need after five days, and five liters of sugarcane molasses. The rice is soaked in water that produces a liquid that's rich in starch. The starch acts as a magnet for the microbes. The milk, on the other hand, produces the lactobacillus, which is the active ingredient in our fertilizer. The molasses provides the food that the microbes need to grow. Okay, let's start putting our ingredients together. I've got my half a kilo of rice, which I'm going to put into the bucket. And I've got my two litres of water, which I'm going to put into the bucket. I want to get as much starch out of the rice as possible. So what I'm going to do is leave this to soak overnight, because that will help me get as much starch out of the rice as possible. Here's some rice I soaked last night. And as you can see, the water is already quite white. This water we refer to as rice wash. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to rub it together to get as much white out of the rice as possible. To do this, I would rub the rice as I'm doing now. Once I've got as much of the starch out of the rice as possible, I'm going to separate the rice wash from the rice. I simply pour the rice wash into another bucket. After I've done that, I will cover it with a piece of net and I will use something I find on my farm to tie the net onto the bucket to keep the insects out. With this rice, I can either cook this and eat it today or I can dry it and cook it later. I'm now going to leave the rice wash to stand for five days and this will attract all the microbes from the air. Right, here's some rice wash that has been standing for five days. The rice wash has separated. You will see like flour at the bottom. Sometimes you will see like a skin on top. We don't need the skin on top or the flour at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is measure out just one liter of the fermented rice wash. To do this, I'm using an old water bottle that I've cut away and this is going to be my measuring uh, container. When I'm pouring it out, I want to make sure I don't take the flour from the bottom. As you can see, I have my flour at the bottom of my bucket 
and I've got my one liter of fermented rice wash ready to mix with my milk. Next, we're simply going to pour the one liter of fermented rice wash into 10 liters of milk. Next, I will cover my bucket with a net and tie it to keep the insects out. I'll then leave it aside for five days, allowing it to ferment. After five days, this is what it looks like. You will notice three distinct layers, the cheese, the raw lactobacillus, and the flour at the bottom. Now I'm going to separate the lactobacillus from the cheese. To do this, I'll need another bucket. I'm going to leave the net on and use that as a strainer so when I pour the lactobacillus out, the cheese will remain in my first bucket. We now have the raw lactobacillus in one bucket and the cheese in a separate bucket. If we've kept the cheese really clean and hygienic, we can eat that. If we haven't, we can feed it to our animals or chickens and they really love it. Next, I'm going to add molasses to my raw lactobacillus. The recipe here is one part raw lactobacillus to an equal quantity of molasses. So I'm going to use my fingers to measure to get the right quantity. I can see this is four fingers of raw lactobacillus, so I need four fingers of molasses. Let's add the molasses. Now that the molasses is in, I'll have to stir it very well. Now that I've mixed it, it's ready to be stored. I can cover it with my lid and use it when I want to, or I can put it in bottles and store it in bottles. When I'm ready to use it, I need to dilute this with water. The dilution rate is 1 is to 500, which means for 1 litre of my lab serum, I need to add that to 500 litres of water. But most of us use a jerry can on our farms. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use the jerry can cap to measure your lab serum when you want to use your lactobacillus. So here we have a jerry can and I'm going to use the cap as my measurement. For a 20 litre jerry can I need two capfuls. My jerry can was empty. So I've got the two capfuls in and I'm going to fill it up with water. Alternatively, if my jerry can was already full of water, I'm just going to add two capfuls and then I'm going to close it and shake it really, really well so that the lab serum is mixed with the water very well. I'm now ready to use it on my plants on my farm. We do this five times during the season. When preparing the land, we splash it over the ground. When preparing the seeds, we soak them in diluted lab serum for no more than 12 hours. Then when we see the tiny plants or seedlings, we apply the lab serum again. Again when we see the flowers. And finally, 
when we see the first sign of the crop, such as the tiny fruit or vegetables on the plant. To apply it onto the growing plants, we can splash it onto the plant using a grass broom, a backpack sprayer, or simply pour it around the stem of the plant. Farming is all about finding out what works and what doesn't. At LifeWorks, we train farmers and trainers to test how the microbial fertilizers work on the crops. We suggest you set up a trial plot to see the difference the fertilizers and compost makes. You can also download a data recording sheet from our website. Today, we showed you how to make lab serum. Take a look at some of our other videos to see how you can improve your crop yield with other microbial fertilizers and an organic compost that is ready in just 18 days.